First of all, Greg failed to uh, thank Bill Harper, who personally grew all those roses in his garden. In case you're wondering why we never had Bill up to say a few words, that's the extent of his vocabulary. Whoa. Uh, how, how many guests do we have who are here who are Alabama fans? Let's have a show of hands. That's great. Keep, keep your hands up. How many do we have? That's that's wonderful. If you were here last year, keep your hand up. Okay, that's that's great. That's great. We really appreciate the way you Alabama fans return each year to uh, I wasn't going to use that word. I am so sorry. Coach Spark, it's nice to have you with us. I guess now that Coach Saban has signed his extension, it's safe for you to put up your Christmas tree. <laughs> Get him up! Get him up! Uh, you know, the world of non-profit amateur college football is outstanding. Uh, at the end of the day, how much money will the opening in Texas cost just the schools in the SEC? <laughs> um, Kevin Sumlin, Gus Malzahn, Hugh Freeze, and of course uh, Coach Slavin all got raises so they wouldn't go to Texas. <laughs> wouldn't it have been cheaper if those schools had just gotten together and paid Texas not to hire the coaches? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've, uh, we've come to the end of another football season and our, our time together is, is nearly at an end. There we go. <laughs> well, I'm thinking about not seeing you guys for the next nine months. <laughs> you come to DeSoto. Uh, but I think we ought to reflect back on the year that we've seen. Uh, closest to home, University of Memphis. What can we say? Got to be something nice. Uh, the University of Memphis has demonstrated uh, uh, remarkable consistency. Oh, during the last two years. <laughs> For the fourth year in a row, they are the least penalized team in the NCAA for excessive celebration. And their kicker, the guy from Australia, uh, just run, won the Ray Guy Award for the nation's outstanding punter which, if you can imagine, in Memphis is a very demanding position. <laughs> uh, next, I think we, uh, we ought to recognize Auburn as the SEC representative in the final game of the BCX. Uh, that gives the conference a chance to make it eight championships in a row. Uh, you know, Auburn last played in the BCS championship in 2011. Uh, but this will be their first time competing with an amateur quarterback. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Uh, but you, you've got to give Austin a lot of credit. They were 0-8 uh, in the conference last year. Uh, but in one year, they've returned. Oh, God, there's that word again. Uh, they've come back to uh, lead uh, to win the, uh, the SEC. Um, if Auburn does win, the uh, student body can still roll to Merce Corner. And how many of you knew this? Uh, the university replaced those dying live oak trees with three concrete poles, uh, <laughs> which are connected by four wires in the form of a V. That's not for Viagra, Bill. Oh. <laughs> I use the seat. Although the, uh, the university considered using telephone poles instead of concrete poles, uh, Auburn's head arborist uh, felt there was too much risk that the wooden telephone poles, poles could be at risk for future poisonings. <laughs> uh, by the way, I don't know how many of you this. Harvey Updike, the man who uh, pled guilty to second degree tree poisoning, uh, was released from prison a few months ago after serving a six month term. Uh, he left Alabama and is relocated to uh, Louisiana. Uh, with his release, there's still a lot of questions that will probably never be answered. Uh, you know, who stood the most to gain from the death of the trees? Was there a Georgia connection? And I think, I think most importantly, was he a lone poisoner? 
Or is there a conspiracy? Uh, you, know, you have to ask yourself, as an Alabama fan, was he capable of reading the instructions on the herbicide box? <laughs> Vanderbilt, uh, oh God, Vanderbilt yeah. fans uh, have sold out the BBVA Compass Bowl. How many of you will be there January 4th? John. And, uh, uh, Birmingham. Birmingham is beautiful in January. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And uh, despite, losing the, uh, despite losing the Egg Bowl on the fumble in overtime, Rebel Bear fans are very excited. I think you'd have to go back to the uh, end of Houston Nuts second year to find this much enthusiasm for, uh, for Bear football. Go uh, Bears. Go Bears. Uh, Ole Miss announced a uh, one-year extension for Coach Freeze and, and a million-dollar increase in base salary, obviously a response to the skyrocketing cost of living in Oxford. Uh, <laughs> that raises Coach Freeze's base salary to $3 million per year. And when you add lucrative incentive bonuses for SEC championships and academic achievement, the value of the total package will likely be $3 million. <laughs> Steve, look at Bill. Look at Bill. And, uh, and finally, I just want to say I hope, I hope all there. you uh, Alabama fans, even though you're not going to be competing for the national championship, and frankly, I think you ought to be PCS champions of Veritas because you've won it more times than anybody else when the PCS dies next year. Can I get a roll tide? Roll tide! I want to tell you how happy we at South Carolina are about playing in our second uh, Capital One Bowl in the last three years. You know that Capital One Bowl used to be the Citrus Bowl. Uh, this will be our third appearance, and as Coach Saban might, or excuse me, Coach Furrier might say, you can't spell citrus without USC. So, <laughs> Merry Christmas to everybody. Have a great holiday.